morning friends dito pa tayo ngayon ulit no? we're going to review a firearm that is iconic iconic for its time no? uh, ito yung grandpappy this is the grand great grandpappy of your AR no? uh, I should say at least no? so what we have here sa loob ng bag na to inside this the package inside this bag is a rifle so you might be asking paano napasok yung isang rifle dyan sa malit na bag so I'll show you what this rifle is this is Eugene Stoner's Armalite AR7 Armalite rifle number 7 ibak lang yan asan yung rifle sabi yung rifle dyan everything fits inside the buttstock receiver, barrel, magazine nandyan sa loob ng buttstock na to so uh, originally this was uh, issued no, uh, to pilots and bomber crews ng mga B-52 fortresses nila, uh, fortress sa to force, fortress bombers and several uh, fighter bomber aircraft uh, pilots nalagay lang to sa seat nila, ejector seat and then when they crash and find themselves somewhere in the jungle and need to survive and need to have a weapon with a low report no? for them to hunt uh, for food so they will have something to use so let's uh, try to open this up no? and see anyway I bought this rifle from a reputable gun store there in Metro Manila and unfortunately for those asking this is the last of its kind na of its uh, brand no? there is a similar brand out there uh, made by Henry no? a modernized version of this one it's made by Henry and we'll talk about the difference so let's proceed to open the buttstock ah, there so the cover is made of rubber no? and here inside we will see the receiver, the magazine, and the barrel. So we'll take out the receiver first. So this is the receiver no, of the rifle. Yeah. So the bolt, uh, the charging handle is there. It uh, stows away no, inside the receiver. So when you need to use it, just pull it out. And then yung sights niya is just a peep sight. Maliit na butas lang. You can adjust it for elevation but not for windage. <coughs> okay, and safety. The safety is here sa gilid. Nandito yung safety niya. And then the magazine well. Here is the, where is the magazine uh, release? Mag-release? Ito. Nandito sa loob ng trigger guard. Ito. This lever. You need to push this forward for the magazine to drop. So we'll take out next the barrel. Now the difference dito sa Henry is that uh, the barrel of the original AR, uh, AR, uh, AR7 is uh, supposedly first steel uh, and then aluminum shrouded steel barrel but this version has a full steel barrel buong buong na steel barrel heavy solid na solid men to solid na solid yung barrel niya unlike the Henry model no, the Henry model has a barrel that is uh, shrouded in polymer now, what are the advantages nun? The advantage is that uh, true to its claim no, that the AR-7 will float on water pag nahuhulog mo sa tubig. It does float on water momentarily but eventually it will sink. Uh, the polymer shrouded steel barrel will reduce significantly the weight of the gun, of the rifle itself. This one, the weight is really solid. No? 
mabigat na mabigat talaga. And then the barrel is uh, significantly longer also by half an inch, about half an inch than the Henry. And then what else? The Henry has an orange side. I this one I took the liberty of making a front side because out of epoxy because I lost the front side. It's gone anyway. So uh, this one also floats on water momentarily, but then eventually will sink. But I found out where the where, where the defect is. So I took the liberty of putting foam expanding foam inside the receiver okay now let's take everything out of the receiver uh, of the buttstock there is your magazine there is the magazine the original magazine for the AR7 it holds 8 rounds 22 LR uh, bullets ammunition so you can store them store it loaded inside the uh, buttstock and then when you need it to, may bala ko na sa loob. But I don't do that practice. Since this magazine is old already, I don't uh, store ammunition for a long time inside the magazine. Anyway, the difference with this one with the Henry is that the Henry has a steel, a uh, spring steel dito. Ano, parang hairpin na kalagay dito. To allegedly solve the issues of misfeeding because uh, the AR AR7 being a semi-automatic rifle, blowback rifle, it has some issues in feeding, in the probably due to magazine magazine uh, quality control, and then the 22LR itself is quite unreliable sometimes. No? So let's assemble the rifle now. So assembly of the rifle is very easy. So, we need to put the receiver into the backstop. Fit it in there. And then there's a screw at the bottom wherein you can connect with the receiver. There, the receiver is now integrated into the buttstock of the rifle. Now, all you have to do is now to connect the barrel. Now, to connect the barrel, the barrel, just like your AR, no? the barrel of your AR, it has a, some sort of a detent dito. May malit siya na parang uh, dimple dyan. May peg dyan na maliit. Then, you need to match that up, mate it with the notch on your receiver sometimes you need to push it hard or just pull back on the barrel on the bolt no? but you can just push it down and then screw the barrel in with the, using the collar okay that is in tight now insert the magazine So this is how it looks like now. It's a full rifle. Just need to return the bad stuff. By the way, it's uh, the butt has a marking there. It says AR7 Explorer. Patent pending. Meaning the time when it was released. This one, the patent was still pending. So, maswerte ako. 
How much did you buy it for, sir? I bought this gun dirt cheap. <laughs> Very cheap because they primarily it was just a display sa gun store nila. And then they thought it's no longer working. So I offered to buy it. And then they said, are you sure? Sigurado ko, sir. Are you sure? Baka hindi yan mag-work. Sabi ko, ah, I will make it work. So when it arrived here in Cebu, uh, registered to me, I fixed it. <laughs> I brought it back to life and it shoots 22LR uh, ammunition quite flawlessly. Walang mintis, no? Yeah. By the way, the sights, pala nito, the, uh, how you use the rifle, it's uh, canted slightly to the, either to the left or to the right, no? So, medyo weird siya gamitin, no? Weird siya gamitin because of center no? kita nyo parang tabingi siya it's not centered to the rifle itself no? nasa gilid so probably uh, it is easier to use this one is easier to use left handed than uh, using right handed no? but either way it's very comfortable to use no? very handy and then I have another version of this one uh, wherein like a wire stock model siya, wire stock dito, parang skeletonized AR na AR talaga no? yung feel niya nun it has an AR grip talaga na M16 grip and then I placed a suppressor here it is very easy to suppress a 22 no? by the way this uh, rifle does not work with low velocity ammunition Dapat gamit mo at least uh, high velocity ammunition or much better yung CCI na stinger. No? Yun, maganda talaga yun. It also works with standard velocity ammunition. However, kailangan nakalagay yung suppressor for the bolt to cycle kasi mabigat yung bolt niya. No? Mabigat. By the way, wala siyang bolt hold open. So, when you fire this rifle to the last round, hindi siya mag back. Then you need to charge it again Pag kailangan mo ng fresh ammo inside And then you need to be careful not to dry fire 22LR no? Especially older models of this rifle Because for the reason na yung bala Yung primer of the 22LR is located at the rims And then the rifle will strike uh, The firing pin will strike at the rim of the rifle So Later on, if you do dry fire, ma pin, no? it will pin the um, bolt face uh, <coughs> of the rifle. So, I'll explain that one here. So, let, let's take a part of the barrel. Take a part of the rifle. See that one inside? Yung parang long line, long notch dyan. Dyan located yung firing pin ng ating AR-7 ng 22LR. And what will happen if you will dry fire it, it will, the firing pin will strike here. There. Dito, dito. It will strike here. It will make a long, ugly line and later on will pin this area of the chamber. So, it will cause feeding issues in the future if you will keep on dry firing it. So, we will now stow away the rifle. Easy, it's as easy as we took it out. Kanina. Unscrew it. By the way, this version of mine, you can stow this one inside the AR, uh, the buttstock with the magazine inside still the magazine attached so i'll show you how the magazine detaches no? push mo lang yan dyan, and the magazine will fall no? okay so we'll store this away
yan. Nasa loob na siya. Then, we will put it inside the bag. <coughs> Great for bag at bag scenarios. Ano? Kung may bag at bag ka, walang kukunin mo. And, I usually keep around 100 na CCI stingers inside this bag. Ano? Along with another brick of fresh na 22LR na standard velocity ammo. Now, I'm trying to modify this one to give it an ease of loading sa magazine. But I'll do that later. Ayun yung, yung AR-7 rifle or Arbalite rifle number 7 made by Eugene Stoner. Thank you, friends.